I wanted to take some time to do a little review about the Master Books Zoology um, curriculum for science. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because I was so overwhelmed with how beautiful everything is. I am a homeschooling mom to a child, a daughter with dyslexia. And also, I am a visual artist, a graphic designer, and so for me, it is incredibly important that everything is beautiful. That when I look at this and, and I touch it and I, and I flip through, and that everything is engaging, clean, and easy to easy on the eyes visually. And so, I just want to go through some of the books that come with this curriculum. And I think for the price, the value is incredible, okay? And I will go through each of these. This is the teacher guide right here. And so this is what will help me day by day to implement all these books. And here is the zoo adventure, the aquarium adventure. And this gigantic book, by the way, when I was looking at this on their catalog or even in the website, I just imagined this to be a big book, yes, but I thought it was going to be thin. And then lo and behold, look at how big this book, I'm just blown away by just just the size of it, not not just in width and 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 length but just the the depth of it is just like whoa it's so so exciting i'm also for um one of the first books that you start off with when you start um this curriculum you're gonna start off with this one how many animals were on the ark well over the summer i noticed that master books had a sale on some books and this one this book right here was on sale so I'm going to use this kind of to intertwine uh, as we're reading um, how many animals were on the ark so that my daughter just can visually see a replica of the ark. This, this also is another beautiful, well done, well designed book. Quality. All right. Quality. And so... For starters, the, the, so the teacher guide right here is what you look at every day. And what I love about this is that it has just every day what you're supposed to do when you check it off. You can even grade, um, you know, the worksheets. And so, and, and there's some that I would imagine that you can combine with your students that are younger. I'm pretty sure you can do that because... For example, you can read some of these things out loud and your younger children can just sort of color this. Now, this this curriculum is for fourth through sixth grade. Honestly, my daughter was not interested in coloring something like this. Now, I'm also an art teacher. And if I was, let's say, doing um, something with my students and let's say I gave them a coloring sheet, I would probably challenge them to add texture, like the texture of the wood or the texture on the waves and the foam and the, the, the rain. So I would kind of challenge them to color this in a more observant way. Like how does wood look and feel? What are, what are the shadows doing? How does the wind, what are the colors that you see um, in the water and things like that? So you can definitely add like a deeper, just a more mature element to that. Um, and then there are there are a lot of fun things you can do, but there's also worksheets that, so what my daughter will do now, like I did mention that she does have dyslexia. So for today's lesson, what she had to do is she had to read these two pages. Now, for her, we've been working with her since she was in second grade. She is now in fourth grade. She was able to read this as long as she had like a little ruler that she can kind of move along per line and keep um, up with what she was reading. And then she had to get her worksheet and she had to read the sentence and fill in the blank. And she was able to, to do this. Um, and it was a little bit challenging for her 
but like I said, she has some dyslexia. She's not profound. And so what she's going to be doing is she'll be putting her worksheets in here. I might even rip out the first um, quarter of worksheets in order for her to, to keep it all handy right here, like in a folder. And what I love is that, so the first quarter, you're going to be working on through this book. And then... I believe you're going to be working on the aquarium. Let's see. It looks like you're going to be working on the zoo adventure. Well, either way, you're what you're going to be doing is one quarter, you're going to be looking through this, and then at the end of this, you would go to the zoo and you have... This book is amazing because at first glance, I was like, how are we going to get through this in a whole year? You are supposed to do it daily, uh, follow the curriculum, but I'm sure you could be as flexible as you need to be. For example, you can stretch this out over uh, uh, you know, two years maybe, or, or you can maybe focus just on the aquarium and the zoo. Part. But what I love about this is that it actually has a devotional. And so you go through a devotional and then it, the, the teacher guide helps you kind of break this up into many chunks where you are able to go through this easily without overwhelm. And at the end of it all, you get to go through the to the zoo and you go through some of these activities. And so it has... Just fact cards. It has, you're supposed to do like, a, you know, just kind of a scavenger hunt at the zoo. And each person gets a field assignment. Okay. And I'm sure as I go through with this, it's going to make a lot more sense to me as well. But just for the quality of this, I was just amazed. I was floored at the quality, the beauty of it, how engaging it is. I mean, I had to kind of hold um, my daughter back from just kind of going through the whole thing. I actually didn't hold her back. She went through, she went through all of it, and she looked through all of it, and she's excited, and I'm excited too. I can't wait to go through through all of these, and so um, then for another quarter. You will go through this one, and this one is also amazingly beautiful. The photography, the design, just the kind of detail that is just included here is top-notch, top-notch. I have seen um, just curriculum out there that is really expensive, and you get maybe a teacher workbook and then a student workbook and then... You know, it's maybe not as engaging, but this, I feel like it's going to be a great fit for us, even though my daughter has dyslexia. I think she's going to be able still to, with help, of course, to read through some of these sections, and I might have some times where I read, she reads, things like that. Um, and I have found, actually, that with master books, it is such a gentle... Um, I find that it's a gentle curriculum, like we're using the language arts and we're also using the, the math lessons for living education. And I find it to be so great because it's just bite size. It's, it's like a challenge in a bite size moment. And I love that. And that's actually uh, through my studies with um, dyslexia and what to do for my daughter that's one thing that has remained in my mind is to be consistent and to have bite-sized moments that are challenging and then you're done so anyways if you are interested in or even wondering should i do the elementary zoology with master books this is what it looks like and i don't think you'll be disappointed i think that it you, if you have a child like mine who needs things to be engaging and fun looking, then I think you should go for it.